I'm going to show you guys something that's rather peculiar from this video. So it looks like they are joining two large components together. And so I'll let this part of the video play and then I'll come back. The uh, Unity module extended about 40 feet out of the payload bay. And so the arm was almost fully extended as we brought Zarya up and over Unity into the install position. We actually couldn't see the mating surface where it was going to mate, so we had to use cameras alone. This is the elbow camera view. And again, we fired the thrusters to attain that capture sequence. With I'm going to play some of that again. Watch the top left area of the video and see if you can spot it. See the mating surface where it was going to mate, so we had to use cameras alone. This is the elbow camera. Now I have an area of the video circled. So specifically watch that area. See the mating surface where it was going to mate, so we had to use cameras alone. This is the elbow camera. Here is that portion of the video played forwards and backwards a few times. So notice how the image comes to a stop and then starts up again. That's rather interesting. I've made an arrow as a camera motion reference. I'll play this portion of the video, reduce speed. So I don't think that the camera is moving around very much prior to the uh, image coming to a stop. Uh, Unity module extended about 40 feet out of the payload bay, and so the arm was almost fully extended as we brought Zarya up and over Unity into the install position. We actually couldn't see the mating surface where it was going to mate, so we had to use cameras alone. This is the elbow camera view, and again, we fired the thrusters to attain that capture sequence. With 